This is Seth Wilson for ACSports.com, coming to you from the practice field at Action Zone, where seven Wildcats just finished putting their talents on display here at the ACU Pro Day. They went through such drills as the broad jump, the bench press, and the 40-yard dash, and also went through some positional drills, trying to get the attention of the NFL scouts that were gathered here today in Abilene. A pretty strong showing from those that gathered, and a big crowd was here also cheering on their Wildcats, and some teammates were even here to cheer on their former Wildcat teammates. Now let's hear from the players themselves and see how they felt about their performances this afternoon. I think we did really well. You know, uh, like I said, we've been training a long time and we're all a bunch of good athletes, you know, so we just need, we just looking for an opportunity. That's all we're looking for. So it's a lot of pressure, but you know, they say pressure make diamonds. So that's how we looked at it the whole time we were training. It was more just anticipation, ready to get out here. Um, I mean, we've been working drills for about 12, 14 weeks now. So, you know, I feel like we all did well and it was just, it was a good, it was a good day for all of us. I've been playing football since I was in first grade. So, you know, ever since then, I always told my dad I'm going to play pro, uh, football professionally. So I've always been, you know, that's been my goal ever since I started playing football. So it's been a long time. Oh, I thought I, I, thought I did good. A uh, little, little jittery at first, but once I settled down and got back to doing what I do and going over my routines, I, I felt well with it. Felt good. But overall, I thought I, I thought I did pretty good. I've uh, been nursing a hamstring injury. I thought I, thought I could have ran better in the 40. I think they got me at 438. So, I mean, overall, I thought it was a good job. I'm uh, I'm satisfied with the results. Oh, good man! It's 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 a relief. Um, been training for about 12 weeks now, and I haven't just been training. I've been running track as well, so it's taking a toll on my body. But I love it. Um, it's just, it's just a dream come true to come out here and uh, perform in front of these scouts, and just something just something I always dreamed of, and hopefully I get a shot. I felt like I did great uh, with the 40 and uh, receiver drills. I got done around the 40. Uh, I had some people timing me and uh, had some good time. So I, I felt I felt real good the, going through the rest of the day after the 40. It felt natural. It felt like uh, it's nothing new, nothing I ain't been doing. Everything was just so natural that I just came out here and had to run routes and catch what I've been doing. I feel like I'll come in and just be be that big type of receiver that they were looking for. Somebody on the outside that can that can run either any route they want and play inside and, and get the job done. It would be such a relief just uh just that I, I get the opportunity that I've been finally praying about and been working hard about. That it'll mean it'll mean everything to me. I think it was a pretty good performance overall. You know, I'm satisfied with the outcome. You know, I prepared for a very long time and Finally, got, finally was able to come out and just perform, you know, just do what I was doing while I was training. So it was good just to get out here in front of some scouts and and perform well. You know, since I came to ACU, those were the guys that took me in, became good friends with, you know, became roommates with Lynn and Tarver. Me and Seth, we set out the same year, and me and Seth became closer together as years became as years got longer. And you know, it was just real fun. It just helped me relax, knowing that they're out here and they're going through the fight with me. You know, so we had each other's back. We were cheering for each other and hoping the best for one another. It's a dream come true. It's not over with yet. You know, um, I'm still dreaming, still hoping to live out the dream and hopefully continue playing at the next level, you know, uh, whether that's NFL or CFL. You know, I just want to play ball. And so hopefully I can continue doing that. I don't have a doubt in my mind that I'll be able to at least get an invite to a camp. That's all I need is opportunity. And I feel like my talent, my skill set can take care of the rest. You know, I've been blessed with tremendous talent. And I feel like God gave me this talent for a reason. You know, as long as I continue to work hard and don't take anything for granted and just get the opportunity, I feel like um, I can make my mark in the NFL.